Welcome to video 18 where we'll look at backup and restore with your Yaystar S-Series phone system. Hi, I'm Dar Zook with the Helio Technology Report and this is video 18. We're going to have a look at how to back up your configuration and restore uh, on your Yaystar S-Series phone system. Now, this is a critical and very important uh, procedure uh, for any enterprise, any anyone that's uh, concerned about uh, failover and uh, disaster recovery with your Yaystar S-Series phone system, and it's essential. Uh, to do. Yaystar supports it. Not all phone systems support it, but Yaystar does. So uh, we're going to jump in. But before we do, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Helia Canada. Uh, and we've got a great number of uh, different VoIP uh, and all things technical uh, procedures and, uh, and things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So please check that out. Also, I have a coupon for you at the end of this video at our online store, and that's www.buyphonesonline.ca. So without further ado, let's jump in and see what this is all about. For backup, we want to go to our nine dots, and then we're going to go to maintenance, and backup and restore. Now you can have a schedule as well as an individual backup. We're going to use the individual backup. You can see the format of the file name also includes, well, it includes both the date as well as the time in 24 hour format. The location type, I only have one uh, location that's configured on this uh, S50 and that's local. And that means physically on the S50. The S50 has limited space and so this isn't a particularly good place to, to put it if you're going to do uh, your backups. You can also back up the call logs of course uh, but we are uh, uh, doing our backup for disaster recovery so if there is an issue we've got a, a backup. Now if you are going to be uh, automating this uh, you will want to put it in a different location. And so once we've done the backup, as we just have, we can download the backup. And so this is going to put it on my PC where I'm accessing the, uh, the web interface from here. So once it's backed up, of course, we're able to either restore this or we can upload a backup that's no longer on the system. So if we've done a backup and then factory reset it, uh, this allows us to find that particular backup. And you can see I've got a couple here now. Uh, I'm going to select one of these, open it. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm going to select the other one, uh, which doesn't exist on this system anymore. And this is a uh, backup from 3.51 uh, p.m. And so we're going to upload that. And now we can restore uh, that particular backup. So we're going to pause. Well, uh, it's, well, it's going to have to reboot. So I'm going to reboot this and then we're going to pause the video. Okay, so now that we've rebooted, uh, we're going to go uh, back to maintenance and backup restore, and the backup has been restored. Now, there is a couple other things we can do. Uh, we can set up a schedule here as well. Now, if we do set up a schedule, uh, it does allow you to put it locally, but I would recommend that you use a Windows uh, remote storage and that's not showing up in the list here because it has not been configured uh, there is a separate video we'll have a quick look right now but if we go into settings and then general oh sorry that's uh, uh, it's actually the system setting that we want to be in and storage and so you can set up a file share uh, storage here or onto an SD card. Uh, with file share, you can also use FTP. And so this will 
uh, uh, take your phone system settings and put it somewhere external, which is essential for disaster recovery. If you have a fire or um, uh, someone breaks in and uh, physically takes the phone system, uh, then you want to have a copy of your um, settings that's offsite that you can recover. And uh, FTP or uh, file sharing will allow you to do that. So once that's done, uh, you will have an option here to store it uh, in other locations other than local. Uh, we can have the uh, different rotations and then how often uh, we want to do that backup. So that was video 18, how to back up and restore your Yaystar S-Series phone system. In video 19, we're going to have a look at how to complete a firmware upgrade on your Yaystar S-Series phone system. And you'll find video 19 on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Helia Canada. If you haven't already subscribed, I invite you to do so. And uh, we really appreciate that. And when we add new videos, you'll get a notification of the, the videos that we've added. Now, in addition to that, at the end of this video, I've included a coupon for you on our online store. And that's at www.buyphonesonline.ca. So uh, have a look at the end of the video for the coupon. And one last thing is our classroom training. If you prefer classroom training uh, over uh, using YouTube, we do offer classroom uh, training for both the basic, intermediate, and advanced training uh, for Yaystar certification. You can find out more about that on our webpage at www.heliavoice.ca. I'm Dara Zook with the Helia Technology Report. Thanks for watching.